Hello everyone, you're watching Cricket Calling. I'm your host, Indranil Basu. Today we are into 10th day, right? And uh, IPL is throwing up exciting challenges uh, in front of everyone, right? From the players, the audience, it's just getting from, from, from every day, it's improving so much. You're getting from better, getting better every day, right? I mean, I mean, the fact that today is a double header. I'm actually at loss of words to see the way things are moving. I mean, last night we saw so, so much of excitement uh, the way uh, Mayank Yadav was bowling, my God, he was absolutely terrific. And that's why uh, fast and furious, that's what I would uh, sort of sum it up. And that's why we have someone joining from all the way from Perth, uh, Mr. Avay Apte, former say, uh, president of uh, Maharashtra Cricket Association. We have uh, Shakya Mitra, of course, uh, former uh, Official with the sports ministry, someone who's followed cricket, worked with the IPL franchisee, and also we are uh, going to get Mr. Vijit Sarkar very soon, uh, former CEO of uh, uh, Sara Pune Warriors. But yeah, I mean, it's just getting to a different level. Abhay, Apte, sir, you're in Australia. Tell me something about how exciting is IPL there out, I mean, uh, out there in Australia. How, I mean, how do you see that? Uh, thank you, Dari. Thank you for having me. And also, yeah. a very good afternoon to all my friends on the panel. Uh, mm -hmm. in Australians have been taking a lot of interest in IPL right from the beginning. Because if you see uh, their team, the Australians are the ones who are who have been playing this franchise in big number ever since its inception. And many of yeah. them have also led the team. So the general awareness, yeah. the general love for IPL is very high in this country. Yeah. Even currently, yeah. if you see around 15 players from Australia are playing in this tournament. And as such, in addition to that, you know, wherever the Indians go and wherever the Indians settle, they take cricket with them. So now Australians, most of the Indians are playing. Some of them might play for their national team also here. And that is why there are a huge number of Indians who will keep themselves awake till midnight, but to see that they watch IPL matches. And so it is very, very interesting to see how they also take a lot of interest in this cricket. They are actually. And today is, of course, a double header. And uh, first match is between GT, Gujarat Titans, and uh, Sunrisers at the party. Later in the evening, we have DC taking on, Delhi Capitals taking on Chennai Super Kings. That's going to be another interesting. We are going to give you tips also. Shakti, I want to bring you uh, in here. First match, GT versus Sarich. How do you see that match panning out? It's going to be exciting. We know that for sure. It's, yeah, so, uh, uh, getting better and better. So, uh, nice upload to it. Travis Head and Patrick Cummins come back to uh, the Narendra Modi Stadium. And um, both those men were, um, were like responsible for a heartbreak on 19th November. Yeah. Travis Head... Um, <laughs> Played that astonishing innings of 137. And uh, Patrick Cummins took the two most important wickets. And the captain. Now the captain of SRH. So, um, you know, SRH is uh, looking like a much more enthusiastic, energetic franchise than they were over the last three years. Uh, uh, you know, over the last three years than what they were in the last three years. Yeah. They are, uh, uh, they've rebuilt their side uh Definitely bringing Patrick Cummins in as captain has um, brings that respect uh, that uh, being a captain of Australia and being a World Cup winning captain uh, offers. And um, like apart from that, you know, there's uh, you know they are they are a good balanced side across the batting and the bowling. Uh, Gujarat Titans uh, have lost. Uh, well, uh, Hardik Pandya uh, left. Uh, left uh, GT last year on a trade and Mohammad Shami has uh, was ruled out for the season so two very important players not available but um, again uh, again they still have some good players so and the way they won the opening game against Mumbai shows that they have a lot of fighting spirit as well to win a match from a situation which didn't which seemed quite difficult at one point of time so the match looks good the the match definitely looks good and um, 
but i think the but i feel hyderabad uh, with hyderabad with that they are a revamped side uh, with new ideas you know patrick cummins is the captain daniel vitori is the coach so i think there's a new that that energy i think and with the the, the general balance of the side i would say hyderabad uh, look the look the stronger side yes they are i mean <laughs> the way they are playing how how the your you know reversal of fortune happens after sir this game is so funny i mean at times it gives you everything and next moment you are completely out of luck uh, the way hardik pandya is uh, trying to find his his feet um, in the tournament it's very tough actually it's very uh, you have worked with so many franchises you know i mean one of them of course uh, was there in maharashtra for a long time the pune franchise uh, you know the pressure the you know, the expectations everything put together it's a uh, so much of pressure i mean so much of uh, you know i mean you get really handsomely paid but somehow uh, it's not i mean i mean how do you explain that it's money of course with so much of pressure uh, i mean how do you see that that sort of a challenge for the see, for the see, cricketer yeah yeah see really uh, that i would say is the most beautiful part of this tournament what a product mm-hmm. this has become uh initially people were you know apprehensive that whether there will be a fan base whether there will be so much emotional whether there will be uh, uh really fought matches but if you see the way in which this ipl season has begun it has been terrific every match there is something that you can take away something that you must pick up the way in which they have fought till the end the type the way in which they have started making i mean scoring runs this is all amazing moreover if you see now there is a clear loyal fan base for every uh, every uh, franchise and they are very particular as to who should represent them who should not represent them and i think if you see for forever we have been seeing that this game has come all this distance thanks to the mm-hmm. fans the fans on the street the fans who see uh, matches on mobile phone they see on the tv so they are the people and they are going to rule and i think some justice will be made to them when really speaking the fans will come in a different which they are doing now all right all right we are also joined by abhijit sarkar sir namaskar sir uh, are you able to hear me and i i was yeah yeah i mean i was expecting you to come a little earlier but yeah so today of course is a big game He's still settling down. I'll go to Shakya straight away. Shakya, uh, your expectation from Klassen? I mean, I'm a little confused. Who's actually a better player, Klassen or Nicholas Puran in T20? They are really, uh, I mean, adding so much of heat to the tournament. I mean, with their red hot form, yeah, absolutely brilliant players. Are you? Uh, what is the question? That who's a better player? No, I mean, who's, who's a better T20 player, Klassen or Puran? uh i think both of them are both of them are very good uh, but um, i i think i think classen classen over the last uh, two years i would say classen in my view is the better is the is the better and more consistent player and uh, and he can absolutely destroy spin so they are but, but both of them are good players i mean i i, I don't I, i don't think that there's much to differentiate puran i think probably plays in a more uh, in a, in a more robust team he plays around better batsmen around him so if puran doesn't perform there are others who can uh, who can play around him whereas i think classen uh, in a, in somewhat the same way as andre russell uh, ha- is carrying more load on him in the hyderabad middle order whereas puran has better players better players around him in lucknow is what i feel all right lucknow is a good franchise today i was in the lucknow lsg cricket academy in greater noida abhijit uh, sir your thoughts on how lucknow is shaping up and, and and coming back what's what's the news happening you were in the stadium yesterday how is it going what's what's the gossip going around in ipl right now no extraordinary gossip but uh, rahul has some uh, niggle so because of that uh, i i think in the next few matches he will play as the impact player only and so oh, wow. because that's a news yeah, yeah he doesn't want to take any chances uh, because okay. uh, as i told you that uh, 
the wicket keeping slot is still open he wants to be safe to be as a uh, to be included as a wicket keeper uh, yeah, yeah but i don't think so that will be possible the way things are developing so that's a major news uh, which is going around since yesterday night and okay. uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, the next major news is Mayank Yadav, which is being talked about. Yeah. Around. Oh, yeah. So, uh, the sheer pace, because the, uh, the flight, uh, Brian Lara was also with me, Brian was with me, Deep was with me, so we were talk we spoke a lot about it. <clears throat> so, yeah. he, he was, they were all impressed by his pace. But let's see how the consistency continues. That's the, uh, most of the bowlers which has come in first year, they come with a bang and then they fizzle out. So it depends upon. He, he seems to be an intelligent baller. What the the specialist uh, specialist also speaking about it. So and he has a bright future. And like I, yeah, today only I came to know that uh, the way Mohsin Khan has come back uh, that is also very important because he uh, his hand was on the first verge of amputation. I don't think you people know about it. It was supposed to be amputated. Oh. Yeah. So there was a nerve which got affected on his shoulder, bowling shoulder. The doctor, some of the doctors said, we may have to ampute. So, uh, but then he recovered. And after recovery, if, if he has come back to this level, the accuracy which, he's being, which, he's, which he is showing, that is really appreciable. Both the, and both are Indian ballers and pacers. So, uh, that's good for good sign for Lucknow Super Giants. And while uh, <clears throat> just to share an anecdote, but I asked Brand Lara today. So, according to you, who are the in the present situation? Although it's too early, who are the top contenders for this year's IPL? So he said mm. that uh, CSK and Rajasthan. Although it's too early. But the way the, both these teams are shaping up, they are the most strongest contenders for this year's IPL. And if you go only by batting, what we uh, calling then the next team which comes with SRS, then down the although LSG is also shaping up well, but I cannot say that they are the contenders now. And <clears throat> I was just hearing that somebody was speaking about Klaasen and uh, Puran. So, but. Uh, Look, first of all, Puran, it, it was the first IPL match which he captained and he won. That is, first of all, we must, uh, uh, that, uh, that must be appreciated also. But uh, yeah. uh, I don't think that Klaasen doesn't have uh, supporting batsmen around him. Mark, Markham is there. There are lots of good batsmen in the SRS team. Their, their batting order is quite strong. And uh, mm -hmm. LSD is full of all-rounders, uh, besides Dickoff. And KL Rahul, then after that is Puran. Then other pe people are all like Kunal Pandya or Ayush Bhaduni. They are, cannot be called in the same category, the number of batsmen which SRS has. So uh, <clears throat> I think uh, they are, uh, and in last 12 months, the highest average in T20 cricket of, 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 was of uh, uh, Nicholas Puran. Um, Klassen has not, uh, show, show, started showing his class since last year. And uh, Puran is here in, is existing for the last three, four years, more than four years. So mm, I think Klassen is on the way to become the greatest T20 player uh, for the future because he's very good in playing spin and pace both. Yeah, uh, like uh, the, in the nets, which I was seeing, uh, which, which I saw, a uh, few days back, uh, with which uh, few of the under-19 ballers, even Navan Timari, an Indian under-19 mm -hmm. baller, they were on the nets of LSG. The uh, <clears throat> Puran was mostly practicing the spin. That means he has certain vulner vulnerability about spin. And what I heard from uh, SRH, Glassian is ruthless against spin when they give in the nets, and that he has Absolutely. shown. <laughs> yeah, that that he has shown. Uh, uh, in the uh, in the uh, matches as well. So uh, really, I mean, and uh, the next big big question, but what which was going on because Preeti was also there yesterday, 
So ah. the main uh, worrying factor is that uh, uh, they are very worried and we are very surprised uh, uh, with the uh, bowling of uh, Harshal Patel. He was the asset. He was uh, selected. Basically, uh, uh, they won the bid for class uh, for uh, Patel for the middle overs, and he is not bowling well at, well at all. Because of which, because one ninety eight, ninety nine in this. Even 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 Ash, Ashdeep Singh is also Ashdeep, not able to get his. Ashdeep, yeah, uh, Ashdeep, that I shared with you that about the concern concern that the spirit is lacking yeah. and yeah, because he he is supposed to be in a strong contention for the T Twenty World Cup team, and Harshal mm -hmm. was the brightest star when he was bowling in the Chennai Swami Stadium pitch, and this pitch is also uh, the curator has developed very well. It was a red soil pitch which was. There in which it was played yesterday, and so everybody around was uh, there were lots of cricketers around also sitting. Uh, Preeti was also sitting, uh, and the Mohit one, other others were sitting. They were very disappointed with the uh, performance of uh, Harshal Patel. Arshdeep, of, of course, was in, uh, he, he showed a little bit of sparks here and there, and yeah, <clears throat> Rabada is also not in full form. But the only thing is that while people are saying that. But the Punjab has to back that same team. They do. They, they should not start doing chopping here and there after two or three matches. If they continue with this team, maybe Rabada, Ashdeep, and other two three players who they have, provided uh, Livingston is fit, then they have. They are also a very very balanced team. But they are not playing to their potential. One match, Sam Karan, two uh, one or two matches, Sam Karan played again yesterday. He was he was out for uh, a duck. So in in this way, because till tenth over they were cruising through. So and 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 the batting lineup they had, you according to you only we only discuss about Jitesh Sharma. Jitesh Sharma is also not performing. Then yeah. Sam Kar Livingston, one of the most fearful uh, batsmen, T20 batsmen in the world. He is not whatever performing. okay don't perform it's all right so we will come back to you Abhijit, sir i want to know get a perspective from uh after sir you know the fact that we are not winning uh and whatever we win every night when your ipl is on but we are not winning any tournament i have uh, got to believe i mean i'm made to understand that in australia it's quite a, a butter wall jokes indians don't win any icc tournament i mean have you ever felt that uh, while you're there in perth and melbourne and moving all over australia we have felt that perception across that Indians don't win ICC tournaments. No, no, no. I don't think, uh, Indranil, that now anybody can afford to say this because All right. uh, they, have to, they have to come to India in April <laughs> to get their job. And also that if Indian to, team doesn't tour them, then uh, yeah. they, they, their board will find it difficult to run. I mean, not saying practically, but Indians, wherever they go, they are the major chunk. They, they are the people who will make money for uh, the concerned board. So uh, the days have gone when people can make fun or make up and can pass such comments. The very fact that 15 of them are down there and playing in Indian soil for IPL and many of them have more or less been the management of the team. So this is clear that they cannot do it. But IPL, as I said, is a very interesting tournament. Uh, if you ask, you can always say who will win, who will not win. It is the beginning of IPL now. Hardly we, they have played three, three matches. And it will definitely warm up the way which is going forward. And the beauty of it is that absolutely new faces will emerge. And that is where we get huge number of people who will be playing there. As you know, most of the countries have started their leagues. And that is why it is going to be still more important for this league to survive and prosper the way in which it is there. And good afternoon, Abhijit. I'm seeing you after a very long time. Hi, how are you? Fine, fine, fine. Uh, so, I would you. like to add one thing, about something interesting the, which was being discussed yesterday also. Because you mentioned mm. about uh, as after service in Australia. So that's why I want to mention here. That nowadays, in last uh, couple of years, the most uh, sought after cricketers, as category wise, who are performing across all the uh, leagues in the world, is number one is West Indian, and the next two categories is South African and New Zealanders. So, and the Australians are not, are not mostly performing as support staff. So, they are not performing very well. 
IPL leagues. <laughs> in the <laughs> it's a T20 league. You, you can go, uh, you can research and find out as far as there has not been any consistent performer, Australian performer. Yeah. Abhijit, you had appointed an Australian as your captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, SRH. Yeah. I know. But that uh, Cummins has performed. Last year also, he, uh, I, will, I will not say ran away. He withdrew himself. And uh, last last match against Mumbai Indians, he performed. Uh, of course, a bit due to his bowling, the team won. But uh, the, the batting prowess which we used to see, Chen Watson and all that, that for the last sure. year, David was also not consistent last year, which they are not seeing. And that being, is being talked about in the, the commentating circle also. That West Indians, New Zealanders, and uh, and the uh, South Africans, they are performing. Naturally, they have they are fierce competitors. So the naturally South Africans will comment so that that uh, now there is the Australians are most mostly in the support staff and they are not pro performing on the ground. <laughs> good observation. Very good observation. <laughs> Sakia, yeah. So I I tell the viewers who have joined in. I don't want I want to tell them a story about uh, Mayank Yadav. He was playing for Sona. He plays for the same club where Rishabh Pant uh, comes from. Shikhar Dhawan played for the same club in Delhi. So there was there was a match happening in uh, at Palam Ground. It was a Premier Division match, and he bowled a bouncer, and the bouncer went past the wicketkeeper's head, and one bounced to the to the to the fence. I mean to the fence. So, and on a dead wicket. He generated that pace and the batsman didn't have a clue keeper didn't have a clue this guy is seriously fast and the what we saw yesterday i mean jitesh uh, Simran, they wanted to hit through the pace you can't hit through the pace you have to use the pace of the ball that's what they say in trade uh, but so this man is i mean i would if i were a selector i would straight away put him in that flight to australia going uh not australia sorry to i mean i don't know why am i saying australia it's in the west indies and america uh for the world T20. After, I would after definitely I will invite you to Australia shortly. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. In really, I will invite you here. But all right. All right. To India. You shift. You yeah, shift uh, to Australia. Uh, Start playing in their old age league. <laughs> in, in all the, right. So, Indrani. Uh, yeah. Tell me. How? How? Yeah. How? Uh, I, we were bowled over, really. No, no. Absolutely. So, you know, yesterday the score was 102. At the end of 10 overs, they needed 97. Uh, usually, that's the advantage to the batting batting side at that stage in in most circumstances. Yeah, and this guy just came and he absolutely blew everyone away. I mean, uh, of course, you know, Justin Langer had said uh, that you know he had this hopes out of Mayank Yadav, but you know, I you know I remember in two thousand and five when I saw the Ashes, and you know, Sean Tate, Sean Tate had come, and you know, he was just blistering pace. And you know, yesterday Mayank Yadav, I'm not in terms of action, but in terms of that raw pace, he reminded me of that first impression I had of Sean Tate. And, uh, and you know, if Mayank Yadav can keep his body in uh, in place, if he can keep his uh, control and discipline in pace, I think we have a serious talent there. And, you know, I think in Lucknow, I, uh, he has uh, uh, Morne Morkel. Morne Morkel is a bowling coach. So in, in there, I think he's in good hands because Morne Morkel is someone who's done very well in the IPL uh, on the basis of, you know, in 2012, he was winning matches with his bowling in the first, in the power play. And yesterday, Mayank Yadav, I mean, he just changed the game. I mean, from the 10th over to the 15th over, three overs, Mayank Yadav bowls. The match is like a different game altogether. So, I mean, Absolutely. very exciting talent. Very, very exciting talent, Mayank Yadav. I just hope he's looked after well. And um, I am very, I am very impressed. Uh, and let's not compare him to anyone as such, but I mean, I, I had, I felt he, he gave me that Sean Tate kind of vibe. You no, know, Sean Tate's didn't really live up to his full potential, except for the fact that he won a World Cup for Australia in 2007. But um, he looks very exciting, my young Yadav. He does, he does, and and I hope the young man will keep uh, getting better and better. That's what we're looking at, you know, and like the IPL matches. After this, I remember. Uh, talking about looking after talent and there is no one like CSK. CSK is playing today, uh, Delhi Capitals, uh, who don't actually look after talent that much, which CSK does. And I remember CSK were not ready to play in Chepok and they made uh, your stadium their home one season, if you remember. And how they ferried people from Chennai all the way from Chennai to watch those matches. They're very loyal fans and what a team, what a culture. 
and uh, they are looking resiliency strong. If Abhijit has, uh, words are to be believed, Brian Lara, of course, has put CSK right in the final spot also this year, which is not a surprising CSK. He's only playing his last game uh, uh, at Chepok for the one last time. But tell me about CSK. You you work with them close. You've seen them how they function. Uh, what is special? What is the USP of that? Yeah. True, true, true. Indranil, uh, uh, we had the pleasure of hosting them for not once, even twice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because because of uh, once it was Kaveri issue, and at other time because of uh, the split in the teams, etc. And I must say that <clears throat> that's an outstanding franchise, an outstanding team. And if you want to describe in one sentence, I would say that an absolutely mature thought process is something which is there in the sense that uh, no flashy things, very, very uh, calculated, very, very thought after decisions and the way in which they have developed their, I mean, the way in which they have picked up players that can be somebody like Ajin Kirani, the way in which they have appointed Captain Ruturaj. So all this process is absolutely uh, uh, well thought of and a very matured way of dealing with and even whenever we have interacted with them, they have come across as, as a very mature team and never a flashy and flamboyant team. They, they are very, very mature and it can be reflected, it can be seen through their uh, way of decision making, their directorship, so many things we have seen, the way in which they handled their cricket as far as that is concerned. And we, as you correctly said, we had a very great experience of uh, hosting them there. And what can be seen by any Indian, what can be seen by any fan, is that it's a very composed and a very mature set of players. And you will not see, you know, some flashy things, some quarrels, some fights, anything of that sort. And the decision that also really flows from top to bottom and everybody is given that responsibility, I think something which is outstanding. Wow. I mean, you know, they have really created a culture, cult culture. I mean, everyone should follow them. They're leaving behind a lot of legacy. I mean, it's a... Something which we can't talk about uh, Delhi Capitals. I mean, what, what's what's with Delhi Capitals? I mean, your friend Mr. Ganguly is there, who's also Mr. Aptisar's friend. What is he doing? Why is he not able to lift the team? He's been around for more than a year. Why did you talk to him and tell him? Why to you do are something? so much in love with Ganguly? Why you no, are so much you're in, love in love with Mr. Ganguly? <laughs> no, no, but you also. <laughs> no, no, we, but you, Mr. Ganguly is not the only person there. Mr. Ricky Ponting is also there. Mr. Praveen so Amri is also there. <laughs> so that, that is the question mark. When, when they selected the team, you don't select mm -hmm. a good middle order. Mm -hmm. They are most vulnerable. Yeah. They are performing in the death overs. Every year is the same. So if you yeah. fail in the death overs and if you don't perform in the middle overs, then you are, you are bound to fail. And you and yeah. this year, this year is a come just a, after a grave injury, uh, Rishabh Pant has come. You have to give him some time, some space. His his movements are good. His reflexes are good. He's showing good reflexes also. He's coming forward and hitting sixes also. But that he cannot come and turn around the thing uh, overnight. Uh, the, the team has to perform. Uh, the, they are on the ground. So this, like like last year, we saw that uh, you are from Delhi, you know. The, the, the people mentioned about, oh, Lalit Yadav, a good all laundry is coming up. Again, he came and vanished. Maybe, again, he was not back the way the team should back up, a young, youngster. Because yeah. then only that any, any player, as I mentioned yesterday also, if you don't back up a player, that player will not play fearless cricket. IPL requires a, a, any T20 format required fearless cricket. You, that's, the, that's the problem with Punjab also. Because you do, if if you first of all you keep on changing coaches every year, then <laughs> then you can, uh, I will not I like to mention there is uh, so most of the most of the coaches say there are interference. So and in Delhi there are two owners. So if if, if uh, there is if you have world's two best batters as as, the, as director of operations and the head coach, then in spite of that you have a batting coach. How is it possible? <laughs> and, and that party, uh, and that person, uh, person is not there uh, for, for the last. I know he's a uh, after his good friend, my good friend. He's a genuine cricketer. I'm not saying that uh, he, he it is his fault. 
it is great. You keep pointing and Sarab Mahul is there, the other person. But the, the discussion is that person is the other owner's man. This person is the other owner's man. <laughs> if this sort of confusion is there, <laughs> so I know it's it's unfortunate, but if there are if this this is the problem in when you, there are multiple owners. <clears throat> you see with yeah, Punjab, yeah, same goes for Delhi. The uh, and that is the confusion which is shown on the field. Of course, I think Rajasthan is an exception. Uh, Rajasthan also has multiple owners, but huh, but they have not also performed uh, consistently for out uh, except the first year. True, so, true, 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 true. So, so, but uh, the, the lots of uh, they also start performing. They are in strong contention, but when the time comes, they fizzle out. So that I mentioned to Brian Lara today. Well, but but they, they, again, he said, but they have the strongest bowling attack, good batting. If of course uh, uh, the English captain is not performing so well uh, as a batting, uh, most of the English players are not, except Sam Curran, most of the English performers are players are not playing, uh, but, and uh, not performing so well in IPL this year. So, but still, uh, if, let's see if Rajasthan is consistent, playing consistently, then only they can reach the playoffs. When when. Of course, and, and Chakri, you want to make a point before we wrap the show? Because I yeah, want to just give the so, fantasy. Uh, you know, you know uh, the conversation on Delhi Capitals that's going on. So, um, you know, I, I really like Ricky Ponting. Uh, you know, Ricky Ponting is one of the legends of the game. But, and, you know, he became the coach the in 2018. And uh, he became the coach in 2018. They reached the semifinals in 2019. They reached the final in 2020. And they, you know, topped the league phase in 21. Unfortunately, uh, uh, couldn't go beyond the playoffs. But, you know, when Ricky Ponting has been the coach, and I think Ganguly and a lot of other people have been part of the support staff there as well, uh, they have uh, picked up very senior, experienced players in the team, whether it's Ravi Chandran Ashwin, whether it's Shikhar Dhawan, Aksar Patel was an established player, Ishan Sharma, when uh, Shreya Sayar and Rishabh Pant came to the team, it was before 2018 when Ricky Ponting was not the coach. Mm. Now, uh, the question is that, you know, I remember b before the 2022 auction, one of their owners, I think it was Parth Jindal, if I'm correct, was saying that that the auction process needs to be re-looked into. And he's, absolutely, he's correct. He has a point because he has this very good side. Which is going to be, uh, dis uh, you know, um, which is going, which is going to break up at, before the 22 auction, and it, and it affected Delhi because they had a very good side in 2019, 2021, but they could only retain four players. But the thing is that I want to know, except Rishabh Pant and Shreya Sayar, who is a good young domestic player from India who has been groomed in this franchise. I mean, they haven't done it. Mean, there is Ravi Chandran Ashwin. There is uh, Shikhar Dhawan. There is Aksar Patel, and all. They are they are only they are experienced players, and they were picked by they were picked when Ricky Ponting was the coach. But who are the good players? So there's there's something definitely not right with the scouting system in that franchise because you know even Sarfaraz Khan he didn't do particularly well with them. Then Yash Dholi has not been getting much of a chance. Uh, you know there is. I mean, I mean, where where are you picking up good young players? And and you know, some of the best domestic players from Delhi they are going to other franchises. You know, Ayush Badoni and uh, even uh, Mayank Yadav. He's from Delhi. He's playing for uh, another franchise. So, uh, you know, I, I think some questions should also be raised to the uh, management of Delhi. And I think even Ricky Ponting, even Ricky Ponting, and I have a lot of respect for him as a cricketer. And yes, he was the coach when they did very well for three years. But as the head coach of Delhi, some amount of responsibility comes on him. A, for the selection of the team in the 22 auction, which were, which they knew was going to be the crux of what it was going to be for three years going forward. And also, like, why have players, why have good young players not come, why have good young players not developed in Delhi? So some amount, so yeah, so the franchise needs to do a bit of soul searching for sure. Well, and then yeah, you can see what they do on the field. Today, I, mean, but... I feel uh, that uh, Chennai is the last team they would want to face. Yeah. Indranil, one, one, right. one, one thing, one mm thing. -hmm. I, I will just mention the irony of the situation that I have, naturally I was with 
few with, with few senior cricketers with me for the last couple of hours and they said that uh, do you know that uh, uh, um, the delhi curator i think in india you know the name he was he forgot the name the delhi curator mentioned about three cricketers third person's name he forgot that watch out for these three cricketers the delhi crowd creator mentioned number one name is samir rizvi number two is mayank yadav and third was also from up that guy didn't remember prashant or some some he said i will get it and see where from where they are playing samir rizvi has been taken by csk mayank yadav by lsd and the third player in remember he is not in selected but he has been said he has a bright future that has been called yeah. pointed out by the delhi delhi ground curator these three play yeah. players they, 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 they know the ground player. reality they know the ground reality of course yeah. they mentioned but about sir, he said he said specifically about samir rizvi you just watch out for this guy and he yeah. got 8.5 yeah of course he is a special player but i got him out other days so i was very happy uh, in the nets of course he'll hammer me in the what's the, the delhi curator's but... name I, you will remember I, he was forgetting his name so that's why he mentioned it yeah yeah yes. so but today today is of course a very important day because uh, uh, two two matches double header after sir before we round up the show your pick today for uh, uh, srx versus gt who am i going to pick it's hot out there at narendra <laughs> modi stadium no no indranil i am in a big uh, problem because my son defends uh, supports one team and my grandson supports another team if they get to uh, know that i am talking about one particular team i will not get uh, dinner uh, which is time which already <laughs> 230 here but one thing i can tell you it is going to be very very interesting and it will be against the odds that people are predicting this is what i personally feel very interesting yeah, game yeah. this is going to be <clears throat> True. I mean, we have we have made a fantasy eleven GT versus SRH. Travis said along with uh, Abhishek Sharma, uh, Sai Sudarshan, David Miller, uh, Markram, Klassen, Rashid Khan, Pat Cummings, Ravi, uh, uh, Bhuvneshwar Kumar, of course, Mohit Sharma, and uh, Shahbaz Ahmed. This is my eleven, and of course, we have the DC versus uh, Chennai. Shakhi, you want to say something? No, I think that's that's fair enough. I I I'd like to see how uh, how Mayank Markande Mayank Markande the leg spinner from uh, SRH how he performs. He could be a game changer uh, because he is right. giving something different. And also, you know, the finishing the how they finish is very important. So you know, Rahul Tevatia, Rahul Tevatia from Gujarat. Uh, I'm I'm really you know if he can. if he can give that flourish in the end it will be a uh, it will be quite uh, uh, it'll be quite beneficial to to gujarat's chances and i i just also no doubt mohit sharma is such a um, is such a rejuvenated cricketer and he's something different you know he has his back of hand slower deliveries and he's you know uh, mixing up his his variations and the way he's performed uh, since last season to now So I think Mohit Sharma, he can be a he can be someone who can break that. He can he's someone who can bring a difference against that hard hitting uh, Hyderabad. Uh, uh, All right, we we will see that it's few uh, moments from here. We'll see that match. But before we wrap up the show, the uh, the fantasy eleven for CSK was a DC match. We made Warner. We have Rachin Ravindra, Rahane, uh, Rishab, uh, uh, course Rishab Pant, Shivam Dubey, Samir Rizvi. uh then we have darren michel ravindra jadeja kuldeep yadav uh then we have uh, uh i think i have put one more name it's uh, mustafizur and deepak chahar so let's see that's the 11 kuldeep of course is part of uh, the 11 we have picked they are very important players uh, after sir all the way from uh, uh, vaka you know vaka we we, we just when we but, talk about perth it's vaka nothing else Yeah. and uh abhijit sir thank you for joining from bombay and shakya from delhi uh, we hope you have a great sunday I mean, we will not leave our seats today i can tell you that because double header means you if, to if you want to in the if you want wherever. to hear if you want to hear a lovely quote from your dear friend saurabh gaguli he said that huh. 
uh, uh, Ashish Nehra should stop behaving like a football coach. Let Shubham perform on the ground. It, it's not football. Wow. Cricket is different. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. But Gambali is little on the older side, so he can rest. But Naira is a young man, so he will do yeah. whatever he likes. So I do. just because you love him, that's why I'm saying it's. it's, it's I love it. I love all of them. <laughs> Sir, I love all of them. But thanks a lot for coming it's and uh, on cricket calling and see you around. Have a great Sunday and uh, cheers to all. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye.